This 2013 PC was a game-changing device and was known as the Livestream HD 500. With it came the ability to walk into a venue with a bag on your shoulder and in under five minutes be fully ready to stream, switch, and ISO record at a professional level without any hassle. If you're an IT rookie or enthusiast like me, you may be wondering how to take an old PC and make it run for a few more years. I was in the same boat, so I set out to give up my own PC a much needed upgrade. From hardware changes to software tweaks, I use YouTube to learn how to do it. And in this video, I'll be sharing my journey with you. I'll be showing you how I took my Livestream HD 500 and gave it a new lease on life. Whether you're looking to upgrade your own PC or just curious about the process, this video will have something for you. So stay tuned. The first thing you notice about the Studio HD 500 is that it looks like a small PC with a handle on the top. It came with a practical carrying bag from Tom Bin. And what sets the unit apart is that it also has a 17-inch 1900 by 1200 LCD screen built into one side protected by an easily removable metal cover. Weighing just around 15 pounds, it's very easy to carry around and would certainly qualify as carry-on luggage. Under the hood, the Studio HD 500 packed a powerful punch with a 6-core Intel i7-3930K processor running at 3.2 GHz, 8 GB of DDR3 RAM memory, and an NVIDIA GeForce GT520 graphics card. This 2013 powerful combination is what made the built-in display so impressive and also enabled you to connect an external display as a multi-viewer through the VGA or HDMI entries. This powerful machine was packed with the latest technology, making it a perfect choice for professionals who needed a portable and powerful device. There is also a 2.5-inch 500GB hard drive inside and with 7 USB 2.0 and 2 USB 3.0 ports, you had plenty of weights to add more storage. This system was also built with a Teclin Quad and a Teclin Studio cards, both from Blackmagic Design, which are professional-grade solutions for video capture, playback, and recording. Finally, let's talk about the Livestream Studio 6 software. This is a powerful software suite that allows you to stream and record live video. It's easy to use and has a lot of features that make it ideal for a variety of applications. This Studio HD 500 was a powerful and innovative machine, but like all technology, it began to feel a bit updated after a few years. I wanted to find a way to give it a boost and make it last a little longer. My plan is simple. Upgrade the storage with a high-speed 1TB SSD for faster access. Increase the RAM memory from 8GB to 16GB DDR3 RAM memory for smoother performance. Replace the thermal paste to keep the CPU cool and running at its best. Give the entire system a thorough cleaning to ensure optimal performance. Throughout this video, we will dive deeper into each component, and I'll try to explain the process as best as I can. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Your support is greatly appreciated. Okay, back to the video. When you first open the Studio HD 500, one thing that immediately stands out it is its solid construction. It feels like it was custom made with precision and care. The hard drive and RAM memory were secured with hot glue to prevent movement during use. However, upgrading this machine was not a straightforward process. It took me several days to learn the ins and outs of the upgrade, especially when it came to cloning the hard drive. During the process of upgrading Windows 7 to Windows 10, I encountered some issues that resulted in the dreaded blue screen of death. It took me some time to troubleshoot the problem, but thanks to the power of the internet and the help of multiple tutorials, I was able to fix this issue. This experience taught me that even when things don't go as planned, there's always a solution. And if you're experiencing some of the same issues, I will link some of the videos that helped me solve that as well. One of the most significant upgrades I'd made to the PC was replacing the original 500GB hard drive with a brand new 1TB solid state drive, or SSD. This upgrade alone made a noticeable difference in the speed and performance of the machine. 
To clone the hard drive, I used two different software programs, Macroom Reflect and Naomi Partition Assistant. These programs made the process of transferring all the data from the whole hard drive to the new SSD easy and efficient. Now you might be thinking, why use two different software programs to clone a hard drive? Isn't one enough? Well, here's the thing. Macroom Reflect is like a trusty sidekick. It creates a full backup of your hard drive, including the operating system, programs, and all of your files, so you can rest easy knowing that you have a safety net in case anything goes wrong. But when it comes to fitting everything onto the new 1TB SSD, Aomi Partition Assistant is the real hero. It's like a magic wand. It resizes the partitions, making sure that everything fits perfectly on the new drive, so you can enjoy the full speed and performance of the SSD. Once everything was set and ready, it was as simple as flipping a switch, swapping out the whole hard drive for the new one, and booting up the PC. With these two tools by your side, upgrading your hard drive will be a breeze. Once I completed the hard drive upgrade, it was time for the next step in my plan, giving the entire system a thorough cleaning. This meant carefully disassembling the PC piece by piece and making sure to pay attention to every detail. It was a bit of a struggle, but with a little determination and patience, I was able to remove even the most well-secured components. I started by removing the front panel where the power button is located, followed by the hard drive. Doing this was, once again, a bit of a challenge, and even the camera seemed to get tired and wanted to take a nap. But I didn't give up. I moved on to remove the Declan Quad, followed by a very dusty Declan Studio card. And finally, the NVIDIA GT520 graphics card. After some cable management and a little bit of pain to help me identify the connections, I was able to remove the small but noisy 400 watts 80 plus power supply. For me, the noise level of the machine is a small trade-off to make in exchange for its performance and portability. While it's something to keep in mind when using the Studio HD 500, it's not a deal breaker, and the benefits of having this machine outweigh the noise level. Once I removed those, came the turn of the CPU's heatsick game fan. I noticed the thermal paste looked cracked but not dry, so it seemed in good condition for me. And that reminds me that I am definitely not an expert in this. Nevertheless, I set the heatsink aside and moved on to the next task, which was removing the RAM memory. In this case, I encountered four sticks of 2 GB each, all of which were hot glued to their respective slots. Removing the RAM memory can be a delicate task, but with a steady hand and patience, it can be accomplished successfully. Once the RAM was removed, I meticulously cleaned both the CPU and heatsink, ensuring that every last bit of thermal paste was removed. I used alcohol and Q-tips to carefully clean the surfaces, leaving them spotless, kinda, and ready for first thermal paste to be applied. It's important to take the time to ensure that the components are thoroughly clean for optimal performance. So don't let the fear of the unknown hold your back.
Up next, we have the Declan Quad Card, a powerful tool that makes live mixing a breeze. It offers four HD-SD, SDI inputs, and when paired with the Studio HD 500, it can be configured for both input and output. This makes it easy to blend footage from multiple cameras, internal graphics, and other soft inputs to create a polished live stream. Additionally, it allows to route in the video to a local projector or video wall with ease. The NVIDIA GeForce GT520 graphics card, it may not be the beefiest GPU on the block, but it's still a pretty decent card for its age. It has one gigabyte of dedicated video memory which should be enough for basic tasks like web browsing and warp processing. But if you're looking to play the latest and greatest games, you might want to upgrade to a more powerful card. Still, the GT520 is a reliable little workhorse and should be able to handle most tasks with ease. And this card is the Declan Studio. This video card from Blackmagic is a powerful tool for live streaming, and when paired with Livestream Studio 6, it can provide a comprehensive audio solution. The car's SDI inputs can be used for audio input, or you can use the breakout cable for analog and AES audio input. This combination offers an easy way to manage audio during live streams and ensure high quality sound. And me, I use it as an output for my live signal through the HDMI port. The benefits of cleaning and dusting your PC go beyond just making it look nice and shiny. A clean system is a happy system, and a happy system is a fast system. When you remove all of that accumulated dust and dirt, especially from the fans, you're also helping to improve the airflow inside your case, which can help keep your components running cooler and more efficiently. And let's face it, nobody wants a hot, slow PC. After cleaning the entire system and each component, it was time to put it all back together and run a few tests with it. And because I forgot to record the audio during the assembly, I can only remember the comforting sound of RAM clicking in its place. Then I applied thermal paste in an X shape, proceeded to install the heat sink and connect the fan to the motherboard. I reinstall all the cards and made sure the cables were properly organized and secure. I then reattach the hard drive, completing the assembly process and giving it a quick cleanup on the outside without being shamed by Mr. Miyagi, for those who are familiar with the reference. Once everything was in place, I powered it on and to my delight, it was detecting 16 gigabytes of RAM. I know you're probably excited to see it in action so please bear with me while I set everything up. And once it's on and fully connected, it's truly a sight to behold. It's both beautiful and impressive. With four cameras connected for this test, I decided to draw for a while and record a few images for my next project. And if you made it this far into the video, I really want to thank you and invite you to leave a comment down below mentioning your pet's name and how much you love them. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Bye bye.